Atlanta has clinched home field advantage throughout the playoffs. Well, what's left to play for? There's a couple more records that could still fall. The home run record all time. Braves could set that. Could also get to 106 wins and tie the franchise record in that category. Give me four. We are at 304. It's the Friday night showdown. Let's get 308 and set the record tonight. Let's break it tonight in the drama. And on the mound, the rookie making his sixth major league start. Alan Blinens gets the baseball tonight. Yeah, and you see that start at Washington the other day, 89 pitches for the young righty, six strikeouts, so had a good start. You'd hope to get some of the same tonight and get some of those bullpen arms in there. Final Friday night showdown of the season. Here we go, Braves, Nats, Abrams digs in, and the first pitch, Matt Olson makes a great play. Wynitz covers, one out. Now that's a heck of a way to start the day. Good play by Matt, right down the line. Good job by 72 to get there. Abrams runs so well actually leads Major League Baseball in the second half of the season in stolen bases one ahead of Ronald since the All-Star break but he could not beat out the toss and there's one out an opportunity here for Nicky Lopez in for Orlando tonight. Two away. little flare out to shallow left Eddie Rosario over great start for Alan Winans one two three and it will be Trevor Williams on the mound for the Washington Nationals. Ronald has had a lot of success against Trevor Williams. Seven for 15 against him, and two of those hits homers. To the left side, off the glove of Abrams. Even if he fields that, it's a single for Ronald and a good start here for Atlanta. Well, and a lot of people, you know, probably have maybe forgotten he's only two away from Ty Otis Nixon, right? Yep, two stolen bases yeah. away. Otis had those 72 steals back in the 1991 season. Well, this could be an opportunity here. Ronald goes. Yeah, he got a great jump, not even close. Again, that's when you know it too, you're just in a good spot. And these teams know he's going. The MVP chance swell louder each and every game. Swing and a miss. Trevor Williams goes up and away, and Ozzy Albee's now two for 12 career against him. Well, Ronald, why don't you go ahead and take third here and get 72. Of course, you don't want to get thrown out at yes. third with this guy coming up. Yeah, that's where. <laughs> Matt last night breaking the Braves' single season RBI record. Toward the middle. 137 on the season for Matt Olson. Atlanta has a one to nothing lead. Ronald missed home plate. He was he went into his dance before he crossed home plate. So good his dance moves have gotten. He danced right over the plate. No swing and miss here. A solid single for Ozuna. Well, he got a 3-1 count. Got a pitch to hit, and the big bear stays high. Eddie Rosario is the batter. First pitch grounded to second. Garcia will take it. Braves do strand two, but they get one. I think this is the one area, you know, look defensively. Murph, Travis have done an outstanding job, but you'd like to see them get a few hits here this weekend and get going offensively. Both have struggled this second half of the season. Both so consistent the first half. How about that? Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Asking you shall receive. Runner breaks for second, and that's going to help Forrest Wall shoot it through the left side. Nicky Lopez stops at third. So two in scoring position with one out. So a chance for Ronald Acuna Jr. to add to this one to nothing lead. And Ronald Acuna grounds to short. They're going to go to third, and they do get Forrest Wall. But Nicky Lopez comes home. Another RBI for Ronald, and it's two to nothing. Well, not only that. Forced out of third, but now Ronald gets a chance to try to tie him. That's right. Things are really falling into place. There he goes. 72. He's tied Otis Nixon for, for the most in a single season in Braves history. Yeah, and look who's it. watching yep. it. Otis himself <laughs> filming it. He's probably going, I ran a little bit faster. <laughs> Pretty cool. Well, that guy there in the middle is Jimmy Bulware. He has now made it to 300 straight Braves games, dating back to the 2019 season. Big Jimmy, look at that. And in three months, he and Mrs. Claus will head to the North Pole and <laughs> deliver all your Christmas presents. Wow. He's seen some good baseball. <laughs> yeah, that's for he sure. has. And Kevin Pillar is in the game in right field. And for Ronald being taken out, got a hit, couple of steals, he said, I'm Sid, good. Sid said, I'm giving these get Look, a lot of them are going to play, but they're going to get a little break here or there. Well, he's going to get a steak. It's a nice <laughs> night for him. <laughs> Two down, and now here's the payoff pitch from Winans. Nicky Lopez fields it cleanly. 
Long throw, but no problem for Matt Olson. Still two to nothing, Atlanta. And then Olson got two at bats, RBI single and a walk, and Brian Snicker pulled him for Luke Williams. Here's KB Ruiz, fly ball to left his first time. And this one out to right center, falling. And it's on the ground for a base hit in front of Pilar. Ball slapped for a base hit to left. Big turn at second by K. Baird. He'll get back. And Luis Garcia is now 14 for his last 28 over eight ball games. Braves have a 2 0 lead. Here's Carter Keyboom. 0 for 1 with a ground out to third. Keyboom to left. See you later. Wrapping it around the pole. And the Nets are on top on Carter's fourth of the year. Well, you got to think he was sitting that slider. He's like, they're going to throw it. They're going to keep throwing it. And he hangs it and keep boom. Jake Alou, a walk first time up. Nine for 49 against righties. And that ball launched out to right center. Hmm. See you later into the bullpen. Jake Alou, second big league homer. It's the second Nationals home run of the inning, and Washington now has a 4-2 lead in Atlanta. Marcellus single and a ground out so far here tonight. Hits this down the left field line, and that ball is going to stay fair. And then bounce into the fans for a ground rule double. 1-2 to Eddie Rosario. Is hit down the right field line. Fair ball. Big bear around third. Eddie tries for second. They're going to get him there. He does drive in the run though to make it four to three. This ground ball is stopped by Garcia, but he throws it wide of Abrams. Now we're gonna have a play at third, and that's gonna get by Kibo. And the game is tied. And Jordan Weems, a native of Columbus, Georgia, throws the first pitch the other way. Diving stop Garcia, but he can't get it on the exchange to his hand. Wall scores, and the Braves take the lead back. Ozzy. Deep right, did he get enough? No, but it's off the wall. Runner is home, Ozzie wants three, and Ozzie has three. Thought he might have got this, but I think he got under just enough. And that's a hard thing again, when you don't play this outfield much, it's hard to know kind of when to go for it like this. Ozzie thought he popped it up. He didn't think this ball was gonna get as far as it did. But he turned on the Jets and got to third base. K. Barrett. Dropped one into right center against him last time to get that rally going back in the fourth inning. He's going to go deep to right. See you later. K. Bear Ruiz, number 18. Everything he's done is off the plate. He goes middle and he launches. 6 5 Braves, top of the sixth inning. Left hander Brad Hand is on, facing the lefty bat of Dominic Smith. A runner at first, tying run. Dominic Smith, high drive, deep left center. See you later. The Nats have come to Atlanta and hit four home runs tonight. Tom Smith, that's what you're supposed to do with a 3 1 pitch up in the zone. Jesse Chavez will be the third pitcher of the night for the Braves. He'll face 2 3 4. Here's Lane Thomas. High fly ball. Gone. Lane Thomas, center field. See you. Fifth homer of the night for the Nats. Run number 99 for Lane Thomas. Elevate to celebrate. The boys are slugging tonight. The runners at first and second. Garcia's had a couple of doubles against Chavez. Oh, that one right through Lopez. Coming around third, Joey Manessas. And the Nats have put nine on the board here. Runners are going. And that ball under the reach of Riley. And Kaber Ruiz is coming home. It's 10 to 6 Nationals. To the bottom of the ninth, and Kyle Finnegan gets the call. Obviously, not a safe situation, but I feel like any time that you go up against this team, doesn't matter the runs, that ninth inning, that big three outs. Bounce in a third. Oh, Tough play. Keyboom. He's got it. Hello, 70 for the Nats. The Nats win it 10 to 6. They score the final six runs of the game and they hang on for the four run victory.